en question. President, please be seated. President, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is back in session, and the chamber will give the floor to co-prosecutors to put question to this witness. You have the floor now. Thank you, Mr. President. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, de l'accusation. Madam Civil Party, after the Khmer Rouge came Madame to your village, were you Rouge ever aware of them taking any steps to identify who in the village was of Vietnamese ethnicity? Answer, no. No steps uh, were taken besides uh, my description on what happened. Were you ever aware Question, of -vous jamais appris Khmer Rouge asking questions que les Khmer of the villagers posaient to des find questions out au sujet who was Vietnamese? Pour savoir qui était Vietnamien. Answer. No one uh, came to ask us about that. Madam Civil Party, I'd like to uh, read you a portion uh, of the Madame statement that you gave to the DC TAM organization to see if it refreshes your memory. Si this is at E3 slash 75662. Uh, the English ERN is 011-70-650-51. Khmer ERN 00034056. Uh, and this is um, uh, an interview uh, with you, Madam Civil Party. The questioner is asking Avec you about vous, your, your husband and says, question, how did they know that he was Yuan? Were they told about that? Answer, they just knew it. They traced him and knew. Did they investigate to find out how many Vietnamese families there were in the village? Your answer, that is correct. That is what they did. Question. Did they ever come to collect statistics in villages and communes? Did they ever come to make any lists? Your answer, yes, they did. That happened during the Pol Pot era. Question, did they go house to house to collect the data? Answer, yes, they did. Question, did you tell them that your husband was Vietnamese? Answer, yes. Uh, Madam Civil Party, having heard Madame that uh, and those responses vous avez entendu that you gave cela. to the DC CAM organization, does that refresh your memory that um, uh, Khmer Rouge officials were collecting statistics and that you were Khmer asked Rouge whether your husband was Vietnamese? Des et que on vous a posé la question pour savoir si votre mari était ou non vietnamien. Answer. I was not aware of uh, that issue. Réponse. Je n'étais pas au courant de cela. I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I have forgotten since that time until now. Thank you. Um, you mentioned earlier uh, in relation to um, question. a question Merci. about when your husband on vous a demandé uh, was, uh, was taken away that you didn't remember votre mari the date. a été emmené um, vous avez répondu que vous ne vous souveniez pas would, de la date um, if i uh, mentioned to you that si je um, vous disais the arrests might have happened in 1977 does that refresh your recollection uh, regarding the date that your husband was taken away uh, Mr. President, I... Mr. President, President, please hold on, Madame Civil Party. Cooper, you have the floor now. Um, I object to this question, um, or at least uh, the part where the prosecution is Objection, suggesting this year. 
Je pense que pour ce qui concerne de l'année, je crois que le témoin a déjà clairement dit que dans son souvenir, c'était en 1978. Donc je ne pense pas que la question qui est posée par le coprocureur soit juste. Monsieur le Président, juste pour répondre très rapidement, je me suis référencé à une partie de ses statements dans laquelle elle dit que l'arrestation a eu lieu pendant la saison des pluies de 1977. Et donc je voulais poser une question ouverte poser la question de façon ouverte uh, uh, if, um, statement, um, avant de um, l'utiliser pour voir si vous ne voulez pas utiliser la déclaration. If, uh, déclaration. Mais je peux tout à fait utiliser la déclaration si la défense préfère. Open question should be put first to elicit general responses, and later on, if you need to cross-check her testimony together with the previous ones, you can go to specific question, and you can ask whether or not the civil party recalled the previous statement, and how can the civil party respond to the two statements. So this is the practice that we have used so far. So you can rephrase your question. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Madam Civil Party, earlier you stated that you, you didn't remember, in relation to questioning, that you didn't remember when it was that your husband was taken away. Um, I'd like to uh, refer you to your victim information form, that's D22-212, um, the uh, Khmer ERN is 004. 18154 English 004367950 um, and in there you state that uh, it was during the 1977 rainy season that your husband was taken away does that refresh your recollection that it was during the 1977 rainy season that your husband was taken away pendant la saison des pluies de 1977 que votre mari a été emmené Answer. I can recall it. It was during the time when I was uh, harvesting rice. I did not arrive in time of his arrest. After my return at home, I was told that uh, my husband had been already taken away. I did not uh, personally witness uh, the time that he was uh, being taken away. Du moment President, actually the question is different. La question, madame, est the question is, la question que vous pose the question is about your recollection porte sur ce dont vous vous souvenez. concerning the arrest of uh, your husband. And the question is whether the arrest or the disappearance in 1977 si or 78, you made two different statements, and there is a question for clarification concerning the militiaman who brought your husband away, and uh, your husband has disappeared ever since. So when did that happen? That is the gist of the question. And so it was in 1977. And I do not recall the exact date and month of that year. Thank you. Um, you, you just stated uh, right now, and you also stated earlier that um, you did not return to the village in time to see your husband being taken away. You stated that you learned some of the details of your husband being taken away from your mother who was present. In your written record of interview, that's E3-7809, uh, English ERN 002-825-63, Khmer 002-71368, and French 
uh, you state, I Vous saw my husband walking untied in front with the militia man walking along behind. When they reached the intersection with the road going to Kamche Mia, that militia man put my husband in a horse cart. I don't know where they went. Close quote. Does that refresh your recollection that you observed your husband being taken away? Answer whether he was put on to a horse cart, I have no I, I had no idea. As I said, I did not personally see the event myself. So I do not know whether he was put on to a horse cart. I did not dare to uh, seek further inquiry on the issue. Did your mother or anyone else Question. tell you whether uh, the any of the individuals Votre we described mère, uh, earlier, that is, um, Huan or Seng or Chem, Seng were present Chem when your husband si was taken away? Answer, I did not learn the information from any other people but from my mother. My mother was at home at the time of the event. After my, uh, upon my arrival at home, I was told by my mother that my husband had been taken away, and she also told me that uh, she did not know where, the, where my husband would be sent to. After hearing the information, I left so for the work field to continue my harvesting job. Did your mother tell you whether Question, any members of the Khmer Rouge militia were present when your husband was taken away? Answer, there was only one militiaman, not many of them. Militia. One militiaman uh, walked uh, my husband away. That is the information I learned from my mother. And upon hearing this, I went back to work. Did you ever ask any uh, militiamen if they were actually uh, also going to take away your daughter? Question: Avez-vous jamais demandé à un militien s'ils envisageaient d'emmener également votre fille? Answer: The children or the child was not taken away. Only the father was taken Réponse, away. I did not uh, seek more uh, clarification on the issue after my husband had been taken away. As I said, I did not bother asking uh, further questions. I'd like to read you a quote from your written record of interview. Uh, this is at E3 slash 78809. English ERN 002-825-62, Kamai 002-713-67, French 004-86-103, and in that you state, I asked that militiaman, and he said that he was taking my husband to cut rattan vines. I asked if he was taking my child. The militiaman replied, if the mother is ethnic Khmer, they don't take the children. Close quote. Madam Civil Party, does that refresh your recollection that you once inquired as to whether the militiamen were question, going to take your child as well.
answer. The child was not arrested uh, since réponse, the child was the offspring of a uh, Cambodian mother. If uh, the mother claire. was ethnically Vietnamese, the si child would be taken away as well. Également. And all Although uh, this was the case, I was trying to conceal the information about uh, my child. Si le cas, de des au sujet de mon Why would the child be taken away Question. as well if the mother was ethnically Vietnamese? Si la mère était vietnamienne, d'origine vietnamienne. Answer: The Vietnamese uh, would be taken away, all of them. Réponse, les Vietnamiens ont été emmenés, tous. And at the time, since uh, my uh, child uh, belonged to a Cambodian mother, she was not Et taken away. President, uh, Madame Civil Party, please listen carefully to the question. The question is about the case that if the child Belong, uh, was uh, born from a uh, Vietnamese uh, mother, then that child would be taken away. And why was that the case? Do you know about that? Answer, I do not know about such a case that uh, the child would be taken away if uh, she was born from the Vietnamese uh, mother. I do not know about this issue. When you were told that your husband had been taken away to cut from Piek Vine or Rattan Vine, uh, did you think that they were actually taking him to cut from Piek Vine? President, uh, Madame Civil, please hold on. Copa, you have the floor now. Uh, I object to this question. This is asking for speculation. Um, as a matter of fact, she first testified that she uh, hadn't actually seen herself walking away. Um, but she has no um, information, no sources of knowledge that would suggest that she would know anything that would happen afterwards. So asking her what she thinks uh, is asking for speculation because of who she was. Mr. President, if I may respond, um, first of all, I phrased the question uh, in that she was told that her husband was taken away, so I'm not implying that she personally witnessed it. Second of all, I'm not asking her what she thought would happen to her husband. I'm asking her what she thought at that current time. Uh, counsel or myself are free to uh, further inquire as to why she had one thought or another. But I'm not asking her to speculate. I'm asking her for what her thoughts were at that particular time. President, the objection put by the Defense Counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia Kopa is overruled. The Chamber President, needs to hear the response to the question put by the International Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Madame Civil Party, please respond to the question, Madame if Madame you recall it. Civil Party, I cannot recall the question. I forget it, Mr. President. President. International Deputy Co-Prosecutor, Co please uh, reformulate your question. Madam Civil Party, when you were told question. that your husband Lorsque had been taken away to cut from Piek Vine, did you believe at the time that he was being taken away to cut from Piek Vine? I was told I, I was told that my husband was taken away and he was assigned to go and cut rumpet wine and I was told also that uh, uh, he did not my mother did not know when he Ma would return home that was the information that I learned at the time. 
And did you believe that information that he was being taken to cut Rumpiak vine? Avez-vous cru que on l'emmenait pour qu'il ait coupé du rotin? But my answer. It is my uh, true statement, and I indeed learned si that he was assigned to go and cut rumpe vine. My mother did tell me that. And then he disappeared from that time onwards. Madam Civil Party, I'd like to read you a quote Madame from your written record civil, of interview. Uh, this is E3-7809, English ERN 002-825-62, Kamai 002-713-67, and French 004-86. 103. And you're asked the question, how did you seemingly know that they were taking your husband away to be killed? And why did you also ask about your child? And you answered, I knew because four to five days earlier, Nagang, Aunt Tech's husband, had also been called away to cut Ratan vines, and he had disappeared. Later on, Talakni's wife and children who also lived in this village were arrested and taken away. Close quote. Madam Civil Party, does that refresh Madame your recollection Martissi, that at the time mémoire, when you were told that your husband was being taken away to uh, cut Rompiek vine, you knew that he was taken away to be killed, being taken away to be killed? Answer. I was told that he was assigned to go and cut a rumpia vine, and it was my uh, conclusion and assumption that he would not return. After his assignment, he disappeared from that time onwards. It was the same as others. Did you know of any offenses or mistakes that your husband might have committed uh, that would account for his arrest. Madam Civil Party, what kind of mistake and offenses he committed? He did not tell me. He il avait bien pu commettre. did not have a discussion with me. I only learned that uh, he uh, was taken away. My husband did not discuss the issue with me before that. Before or after your husband was arrested, did you ever hear any of the Khmer Rouge in your village? Uh, refer to either your husband or uh, other Vietnamese as an enemy or insult them. D'autres Vietnamiens comme étant l'ennemi ou alors les insulter. President, Madame Sibelvalti, please hold on. You have the floor now, Copa. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I object to the word arrest. Um, originally, this um, civil party testified that she heard from her mother that her husband had been walked away. Uh, later, it was suggested um, to her that it wasn't walked away, but taken away. She picked up on that, but she never used. And so I, I was fine with that. But she never used the word arrest. She doesn't know. Uh, the arrest, as we all know, is a legal term. Um, other legal terms I am not allowed to use. So arrest, um, technically speaking, is also a legal term. She doesn't, uh, she didn't use that word. So I object to the word arrest in the question. Uh, Mr. President, I'm happy to rephrase uh, so that uh, it satisfies uh, counsel for the defense. Um, Madam Civil Party, Madame let me Parti ask my, my question again. Um, Je pose la question. Before or after your husband was taken away, 
Uh, did you ever Avant hear ou après any of the leaders or any of the Khmer Rouge in your village, village um, refer to him village, or other Vietnamese as an enemy or insult them? Or to your husband as an enemy or to insult them? Answer, no. No discussion on the issue about the enemy. Réponse, je n'ai pas entendu parler d'ennemi. He was called away on that day, Il a été and I did not know whether they had a discussion prior to that incident. And he went away on that day. Il est parti ce jour-là. Je ne sais pas si auparavant il y avait une discussion. I'd like to read you a quote from your. Your civil party application. This is D22 slash 212. My ERN 00418154. English 00436795. There's no French, I don't, I don't believe. Uh, the quote is. Uh, this is what you stated. During the Khmer Rouge era Pendant and before my husband Rouge disappeared, the Khmer Rouge used derogatory Rouge and insulting words and were prejudiced against my husband, saying he was a Yuan enemy. Close quote. Uh, Does that refresh your recollection that you heard Khmer Rouge using derogatory and insulting words towards your husband? Answer. No, no derogatory and insulting words were used. Before me, no one uh, used this kind of uh, words. My colleagues uh, together with us with me I did not uh, use such a derogatory or insulting words. I'd like to move on to ask you about some of the other uh, individuals who you discussed this morning, Question, the two other individuals, de, uh, Vietnamese ethnicity, in your village that were taken away. Uh, I'd first emmenés. like to ask you um, about uh, Mr. Ngang. Um, can you tell Monsieur me, did Ngang. you witness when Ngang was taken out of the village? Avez-vous été témoin du moment où Ngang a été emmené du village? Answer. I did not see non, the incident myself. I heard that he was also taken away to cut a rumpia wine. I did not know when he was taken away exactly. Ngang was the one who had been arrested first, uh, and he uh, went away after that time, and he never returned. And uh, what about Question. his wife? Was his wife of Vietnamese ethnicity or of Khmer ethnicity? Vietnamienne or Khmer? Khmer. And so, Khmer. Khmer. Pure Khmer. 100% Khmer. And Khmer. And as for uh, the wife, uh, she is now living in another location, uh, different from my uh, village. During the time, uh, she was living in the same village as me. Was she taken away as well? A-t-elle été emmenée elle aussi? Answer. Réponse. Ngang, Ngang's wife uh, Ngang was not taken away. Pas été she is living. Uh, as of now, elle I do not know her place of residence. Elle est toujours en vie, she is mais living je ne sais pas in a different elle est dans location un autre, now. Un autre endroit. Do you remember uh, when Ngang was taken vous out of the village. Vous quand Nian a été euh, retiré du village? Non. Réponse. No, non. I can recall that. Non, je m'en souviens pas. I did not know when the 
It was that kind of way. Je ne sais pas quand elle a été emmenée. I'd now like to ask you uh, a few questions about uh, the other individual you mentioned this morning. Question, je vais maintenant vous poser des um, questions au sujet de l'autre personne wife, dont vous avez parlé ce matin, uh, l'épouse de Lakni. Um, je crois que uh, vous avez dit ce matin ne pas pouvoir vous rappeler du nom de son épouse. Sun si je vous dis Sun San, cela rafraîchit-il vos souvenirs quant au nom de sa femme ou pas I do not know her name. Je ne connais pas son nom. I cannot recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. And did you witness Question. when she was taken out Et of the village? Quand elle a été retirée du village, en avez-vous été témoin? Yeah. No, uh, I did not uh, witness that. Non, there. je n'en ai pas été témoin. And she was gone. But mais I did not know elle est partie. Enfin, elle, était, elle a disparu, mais je ne sais pas quand. She was gone like the rest elle est of uh, the others. How did you learn that she had been taken away if you did not witness it Question. yourself? Question. Mais comment savez-vous qu'elle a été emmenée si vous n'en avez pas été témoin de vos propres yeux? Si. Réponse. Disappeared from that day. Et elle a disparu ce jour-là. So she was taken away with her children, and only her husband remained. Et seul son mari est resté derrière. My question referred to how did you non, learn that she had been taken away with her children? Non, la question que je vous posais, c'est comment avez-vous su qu'elle était avec ses enfants? Euh, Quelqu'un vous l'a-t-il dit? I knew because she simply disappeared from the village. Disparu du village. They were all taken away, and she was uh, taken amongst those people. She was not spared. Partie de ces gens qui ont été emmenés, elle n'a pas été épargnée. Do you know why Question. they took her children? Savez-vous pourquoi the ils ont emmené ses enfants her. en même temps qu'elle? Réponse. Because the the children were taken away because their mother was ethnically Vietnamese. Ils ont emmené les enfants car la mère était d'origine vietnamienne. And they would not spare even a single child. Et ils n'épargnaient pas un seul enfant. And have you seen question? Lakni's wife. Y avez-vous jamais revu l'épouse de Lachni ni ou les enfants depuis ce jour où ils ont été emmenés? Réponse. They lived in Potendam, although it was not close to where I lived. Mais ce n'était pas proche de là où moi j'étais. They lived next to the main road where I lived. Et eux vivaient près de la route principale alors que moi j'étais un peu plus loin. President, le président, Madame Civil Party, please listen to the question carefully. Avec attention, la question qui vous est posée. When you when you heard that. They were taken away. Quand vous avez entendu Had you dire ever met her emmenés? since the time that uh, Lachni's wife and their children were taken away? Have you ever met Lachni, or rather, the wife of Lachni, since the time that Lachni's wife and their children were taken away? Have you ever met Lachni, or rather, the wife of Lachni, since the time that Lachni's wife and their children were taken away? Have you ever met Lachni, or rather, the wife of Lachni, since the time Were there any other, other than the three individuals who we have discussed, your husband, Donc, à part Nagang, trois personnes, and the wife of l'épouse de ces trois personnes dont nous avons parlé, y a-t-il eu d'autres personnes 
d'origine vietnamienne dans le village de Pochendang à la période où les Khmer Rouges étaient là. No, there was all, there non, were only these tout. families, uh, and there were ces no other Vietnamese. Il avait pas That's Vietnam. all I know. Et c'est tout ce que je sais. Oh, in Antiet, you want Dang Tay? Did you ever attend Question. any meetings that were called by the Khmer Rouge? Avez-vous jamais participé à des réunions convoquées par les Khmer Rouges? Yes, Réponse, I was oui. called to attend meetings, but I cannot je recall any details about those meetings. Je ne me souviens pas des détails de ces réunions. I forget them all. J'ai tout oublié. I understand that it was Question. a long time ago. Um, oui, je comprends que cela remonte à bien ask, longtemps. Do you recall whether uh, any si issues vous regarding que l'on ait soulevé quoi que ce soit au sujet des Vietnamiens lors de ces réunions. Ou au sujet des gens d'origine vietnamienne. No, they did not, uh, that. Non, ils n'en ont pas parlé. Uh, L'accusation, j'aimerais peut-être rafraîchir vos souvenirs, je fais ces références à la déclaration que vous avez faite au CDK. E3 7562, ERN en anglais 0, 7004, et en Khmer, ERN 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, et donc, la question que l'on vous pose au sujet des réunions, créé ou ont-ils essayé de créer des mauvais sentiments contre les familles vietnamiennes Réponse, oui, ils nous ont critiqués de plusieurs façons. Question, donc, ont-ils parlé des Vietnamiens pendant ces réunions Réponse, oui, à chaque fois qu'ils organisaient une réunion. Madame Civil Party, does that Madame la partie civile, cela rafraîchit-il vos souvenirs que pendant certaines de ces réunions, il a été question de, des familles vietnamiennes Oui, ils en ont parlé. During the meetings, uh, they spoke about criticism. Pendant les réunions, ils parlaient des critiques. Mais je ne me souviens pas euh, d'autres choses. Madame Civil Party. Question. Did you ever see Madame la partie civile. Uh, any individuals uh, who were Avez -vous Vietnamese uh, jamais vu who were not members des Vietnamiens of your village being taken away? Avez-vous jamais vu si des Vietnamiens qui ne faisaient pas partie de votre village ont été emmenés? No, I did not know about Réponse. that, nor did I hear non. anything in non, other villages sujet, besides Et je n'ai rien vu dans d'autres villages à part le mien. Madame Civil Party, have you ever Question. heard Madame. of um, a, a Wat near Po Chen Dam village? Avez-vous jamais entendu parler d'une pagode uh, près Wat de... Chas or Wat Ao Kandal? Po Chen Dam, qui se s'appelle que du nom de Wat Cha ou Wat Okanda. Réponse. Je n'ai pas entendu parler de cette pagode au village de Pagoda. Je ne sais pas dans quel village se trouve cette pagode. Je suis désolé si ma question 
Oui, je, je suis désolé, cette euh, question porte peut-être à confusion. En fait, je crois comprendre que le Wat n'était pas à Pochindam, sans doute près du village de Kandal. Mais dans les alentours, aux alentours de votre village, est-ce que les, la pagode de Wat Cha ou Wat O Kandar, cela vous rappelle-t-il quelque chose le président, witness, please observe Madame, the veuillez attendre witness. que votre témoin soit party. allumé. Yes. La partie civile. Oui. I know and I have seen uh, that uh, Okoda je connais cette Okanda. pagode, je l'ai vue à Okanda. The Okoda has been rebuilt. Mais la pagode a été reconstruite. Do you know Question. what et savez-vous à quoi servait cette pagode pendant la période des Khmer Rouges Je n'en sais rien. Je ne sais pas à quoi servait la pagode. J'habitais loin de cette pagode, donc je ne sais pas. Question. Connaissez-vous le dénommé Tri qui habitait dans le village de Pochenda Question. Quel tree? Non, ce nom ne me dit rien. Question. Je vais essayer à nouveau. Je vous dis que ma prononciation n'était pas tout à fait adéquate. Tree. Tree. Le coprocureur adjoint cambodgien. The name is Cree, Mr. President. C'est Cree, Monsieur le Président. Réponse. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Mais si vous parlez de Cree, j'ai un cousin. Moi, j'ai un cousin qui s'appelle Cree. Et je ne sais pas d'autres Cree. Je ne sais pas d'autres Cree. Mais 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 je ne sais pas d'autres Cree. Non, je ne parle pas de votre cousin. Je vais poser une autre question ouverte avant d'avoir utilisé un document. Cette personne, ce que je sais, cette personne s'appelle Tri et que cette personne était propriétaire d'une charrette à cheval à Pochendam. Est-ce que cela peut-être vous aide à vous souvenir de cette personne La personne qui avait la charrette à cheval est morte il y a très longtemps. Et cette personne s'appelle Cri. During the regime, he had a horse car. Et pendant sous le régime, c'est vrai, il avait des chevaux, un cheval. And I think he died several years ago. Mais je pense qu'il est mort il y a de nombreuses années. Do you recall if he ever used his horse car? Vous souvenez-vous s'il a utilisé sa charrette? When individuals were taken away from Pochendam village. Quand des gens étaient emmenés de Pochendam. No, I did not hear anything about that. Non, je n'ai rien entendu à ce sujet. I knew he had a horse cart, but I did not know whether he was tasked to transport people. Mais je ne sais pas si 
because I was uh, busy doing the work that I Moi, was assigned to me, so I did not know about his work. Confié, donc je ne savais pas grand chose de, de ces tâches à lui. Thank you, Madam Civil Party. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, uh, I don't have any further questions. Je n'ai plus de questions, mais ma consoeur euh, de la partie nationale en a. National Deputy Co-Prosecutor, oui, co good morning, Mr. Adjoint. President. Cambodia. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les Juges. Bonjour, toutes les parties. Bonjour, Madame Civil Party. Bonjour, Madame Partie Civil. Good morning, Madame Civil Party. My name is Chong So Won. I am a National Deputy Co-Prosecutor. Co I only adjoint. have a, a few follow-up questions to put to you. Je n'ai que quelques questions de suivi à vous poser ce matin. Madame Civil Party, Madame can you tell the Chamber whether your husband spoke Khmer, and if so, did he speak clearly? Parlait-il le Khmer couramment? And so, no, Réponse, he did non. not speak it clearly. Non, il ne parlait pas bien le Khmer. It was uh, difficult to understand him. En fait, c'était difficile de comprendre ce qu'il disait. Question. Can you also tell the Question. court? Pouvez-vous, euh, je vous prie, dire à la chambre? When did your husband come to live with you in Pochendam village? Votre mari like est venu vivre year? avec vous à Pochendam en quelle année? And so Réponse. I can recall that Je it happened a long time ago. C'était il y a très longtemps. I forget the month or the year. J'ai oublié le mois et l'année. As I said, it's been a long, long time ago. Question. Il y a très longtemps. Did he come to live with you in your native village during the Khmer Rouge regime? Or was it before that? Est-il venu vivre dans le village natal sous les Khmer Rouge ou était-ce avant? And uh, it was uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime. C'était pendant la période de, des Khmer Rouge. Question. This morning you testified before the chamber that you lived with your husband Question, ce matin, during the Lunar regime, and which means it was prior to the Donc, Khmer Rouge regime. regime Khmer Rouge. Is that correct? Bien le cas? And so he came to live there before the Khmer Rouge oui, il est venu regime. Vivre là, sous, avant le régime Khmer Rouge. Question. Question. So he came to live in the uh, village. Donc, il est What venu was vivre dans his interaction with the uh, Khmer people living in the village? Did he go along well with the villagers? Pouvez-vous nous décrire ses interactions And, uh, avec les Khmer du village? S'entendait-il bien avec eux? Il n'y avait pas de conflit avec qui que ce soit. We together Nous in vivions harmony. tous ensemble en harmonie. He never did anything wrong non, to him. Oui, non, And nobody rien fait did anything lui. bad to him either. Il lui n'a rien fait de mal à qui que ce soit. Question. Question. What about the other Vietnamese families living in your de village de prior to the arrival of Khmer Rouge? Did they go along well with the Khmer villagers in the village? Les villageois cambodgiens, enfin Khmer. Answer, yes, réponse. they did, and oui. nobody opposed them. Personne We all contre. lived happily together. Nous vivions tous dans le bonheur. And tous you just focus on your own way of living. Chacun nobody did anything bad to anyone. Chacun de sa façon de vivre, vivre sa vie, et personne ne faisait rien contre les autres. Question. Question. Did you continue to live in your village during the Khmer Rouge regime, or were you evacuated elsewhere? Sous le régime Khmer Rouge, avez été, avez-vous été évacué ailleurs? And so I lived in my village since Je I was born. Vis dans mon village depuis la naissance. And I remained living in the area in the village. Et it was the village of my parents, and it was my village. C'était le village de mes parents. Et c'était mon village aussi. Question. Question. 
after the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime in 1979. Did any Vietnamese families return to des familles vietnamiennes sont revenues s'établir dans le village? And so no, uh, I did non. not see any. Non, je n'en ai pas vu. There was none. Nobody came. Personne n'est venu. All those who were went away did not Tous return. Tous ceux qui sont partis ne sont jamais rentrés. Question: You said those who question. went away or disappeared during the Khmer Rouge regime. But my question to you is that after uh, the fall of the Khmer Rouge regime, and I mean post 1979, have you ever seen any Vietnamese uh, families return to live in your village? And what I mean is that are there any Vietnamese living in your village? Autrement dit, y a-t-il des Vietnamiens qui vivent dans votre village? And so, no, Réponse. there is none. Non, il n'y en a pas. Since that time, none of them came to the village. Depuis cette époque-là, il n'y en a pas. Il n'y en a pas qui sont venus dans le village. Question. Question. When my colleague asks you uh, a question, Quand mon confrère vous a posé une question tout à l'heure, à savoir que votre mari yes. avait été emmené pour couper des lignes, uh, uh, ago, you that vous avez dit oui, when they were tasked to go and cut mais vous avez dit aussi wines, plutôt que lorsque les gens étaient envoyés couper that, uh, des vignes de return, rompées, your vous pensiez qu'ils ne reviendraient pas, y compris votre mari. Donc ma question est la suivante. That, uh, Pourquoi pensiez-vous de la sorte and, uh, Réponse. If they were to go, then they would not return. And that's what uh, was my feeling. Et c'est ce and que je... Indeed, nobody ever returned. Et effectivement, personne n'est rentré. All of those who were sent there never returned. Tous ceux que l'on a envoyés là-bas ne sont jamais revenus. Question. Question. Before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge regime, what was your husband doing Avant le régime Khmer Rouge, quelle était la profession de votre mari Answer. Réponse. He carried the cow dung, water buffalo dung, to fertilize the rice fields. That's what he was tasked to do de vaches et de buffles pour euh, question, faire de l'engrais dans le désert. Question to you is uh, what question. he did Mais que for living prior to the Khmer, Khmer Rouge regime of prior to the arrival of the Khmer Rouge. Avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouge. And so Réponse. He was a petty merchant. Un he marchand. sold livestock, including chickens and ducks. And les actually, les they came to buy the livestock from him at the house. Et les gens venaient acheter and le in the afternoon, he would go around in the village to maison. buy ducks ensuite, and chickens. Et ensuite, il allait dans le village pour acheter des poulets et des canards. Question. Question. Did he ever tell you what he did for a living while he was in Vietnam? Vous a-t-il jamais dit ce qu'il ce quelle était sa and profession so lorsqu'il était au Vietnam? Told me about that. Non, il ne m'en a jamais parlé. Question. Question. You just stated that before the arrival of the Khmer Rouge, vous, he vous was a petty merchant selling livestock. Rouge, un, un and what about after the arrival of the Khmer Rouge, did he hold any position? Rouge, occupé un poste quelconque? President, Civil Party, please hold on, and Council Copper, do you have the floor? La défense. Uh, you, Mr. Merci, M. Um, le Président. Ce n'est pas vraiment une objection, c'est plutôt une observation. Um, the witness of the civil party, rather, la partie civile 
a dit que, d'après ses souvenirs, les Khmer Rouge étaient arrivés en 1977. Et ça demeure ses dépositions. Donc, peut-être que la co-procureure adjointe devrait être un peu plus claire quand elle dit avant l'arrivée des Khmer Rouges. Elle, elle dit 1977. Peut-être essaie-t-il mieux d'utiliser les années plutôt que d'utiliser ces termes « arrivée des Khmer Rouges ». Le co-procureur. Uh, Très bien, enfin. Uh, Transcript, je vais demander une confirmation. Donc, Mme la partie civile, en réponse à la question de mon frère, vous avez dit que votre mari a été emmené pendant la saison des pluies de 1977. Est-ce bien le cas? And so, yes, that is correct. Oui, exact. And that is the truth. I do not lie. And that was when mensonge. he was taken away. À ce moment -là a été Question. Question. Uh, Question. How long or how many years uh, did the Khmer Rouge enter your village before your husband was taken away? Depuis combien d'années les Khmer Rouges étaient-ils arrivés dans votre village avant? On en amène Answer. votre mari. Réponse. Un mois après leur arrivée, environ. Mon mari a été emmené un mois après. Question. Did you live in the same village as the large Cree, Et your cousin did? Dans le même village que large Cree, votre cousin? And so, yes, we oui. lived in the same oui, nous village. vivions dans le même village. Question. Question. And during the uh, Khmer Rouge regime, did you also live in the same village or Et sous le régime Khmer Rouge, viviez-vous dans le même village ou avez-vous été transféré ailleurs And sir, I Réponse. was not moved non, anywhere. Je pas été I have been living in a village Et since dans le my birth. Depuis ma naissance. It is my native village. Mon village natal. And presently, I'm still living there. Et à l'heure actuelle, j'y habite toujours. Question. Question. I know uh, it happened several years ago. Je sais que cela remonte à il However, y a Cree, beaucoup d'années, mais who is your large cousin, Cree, votre cousin, came to testify before this chamber uh, a few days ago devant la chambre il y a quelques jours. That the Khmer Rouge entered il a dit que your les village or area in early 1971 or 72. However, you stated that the uh, Khmer Rouge came in 1977. So please uh, try to recall as to when the Khmer Rouge entered your area. Was it in 1970 or 72, as stated by Large Cree? Or was it the year that you mentioned? And so I know that it uh, reversed in 1977. That is when my village. C'est l'année à laquelle ils sont entrés dans mon village. Question. Question. Before your husband I was told to go and cut a rumpet once, were you called to attend the annual meeting? Avez-vous été convoqué à quelques réunions que ce soit Ou d'autres villageois vous ont-ils dit qu'il y avait des réunions, réunions Vietnamese. pendant lesquelles on parlait des Vietnamiens And so if, even if we were to attend the meetings, we were not attending the meetings together. There were separate meetings where husbands would attend those meetings or where wives would attend those meetings. Question. My question to you is that during the entire Khmer Rouge regime, La suivante. Pendant tout le régime that des you uh, participated in meetings with the Khmer Rouge cadres. Did they ever mention about uh, the Vietnamese people living in the village? Dans le village? 
Answer, no, they did not speak about that. Réponse, no, ils n'ont pas parlé de ça. I never heard them mentioning about the Vietnamese. Je ne les ai jamais entendu parler des Vietnamiens. Thank you, Mr. President. I am done with this uh, witness. And thank you, Madam uh, Civil Party. President, uh, thank you. It is now appropriate for our lunch break. We take a break now and resume at 1.30 to continue our proceedings this afternoon. Court officer, please assist the civil party at the vetting room reserves for witnesses and civil parties during the lunch break and invite her as well as the TPL staff back into the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. Security personnel, you are instructed to take Kirsten Porn to the vetting room downstairs and have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.